It's tense on the streets of Goma. Police are maintaining a strong presence since at least 43 people were killed in protests against the UN mission here, known as MONUSCO, over escalating violence in the region. The protest was organized by a Christian religious sect, and the UN forces accused of doing nothing to provide safety against violence carried out by rebel groups in the area. The security situation is getting worse. <laughs> What is happening in our country is very sad. As at the same time we fight for a peaceful country, we realize that our leaders don't share the same vision with us. So many people have lost their lives because of ongoing conflicts. We don't have peace in this country, and we're now living like foreigners. Human rights groups accuse the military of using excessive force. The government has been meeting relatives of the dead and missing, and loved ones have now been given the right to identify the dead. As the victims' relatives, we were very clear to the government that those responsible must be held to account. We also insisted on the right to access the bodies of our relatives, as it's six days since they were killed. We are yet to access their bodies for a dignified funeral. For now, this is a good move. Senior military and security personnel have been recalled to the capital. The governor military the military governor of this province here with me has been recalled back to Kinshasa for a consultation. Two police colonels, including one from the intelligence department, have also been recalled to Kinshasa for consultations. Monosku is one of the largest and costliest UN peacekeeping forces, established in 1999 to help protect civilians from violence. The question being asked, is it capable of doing so. Stephanie Decker, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.